If you're a person who travels a lot or even worse lives in a noisy household, you may have thought of investing in a good pair of ANC or active noise cancelling headphones. I say investing because they don't come in cheap with good headphones easily going up to five digit figures. So what's the secret sauce behind them and how do they work? Coming right up in this episode of Elemental where we talk about the smaller things in tech that make a much bigger impact on the real world. You can catch us every Sunday at 1 p.m. And if you love this series, do not forget to subscribe to our channel that is Gadgets 360 and hit that bell icon so that you are always notified of our latest videos. Let's take a trip down to 1978 when Amar Bose, an American electrical engineer, took a flight from Boston to Zurich and realized that the drone of the jet engine was really, really annoying. So, Bose set out to fix this problem by inventing noise-canceling headphones. It took him a decade and millions of dollars to come up with the first commercially available noise-canceling headphones that were actually meant for pilots. Over the years, he refined this tech and made his company Bose synonymous with noise cancellation. Cool, so how does it work? With the help of some physics. Any sound is made up of waves and as a sound wave moves through the air, it compresses and expands the air in a repeating pattern. You can visualize this as a wave. Now you would already know that a wave has peaks and valleys or troughs and crests. If you combine a similar sound wave with this one, you will observe interference. Constructive interference happens when you put similar waveforms on top of each other. So as a result, the wave doubles up in its amplitude or how high the peaks and valleys are. Interestingly, if you add a wave that has peaks and valleys in the opposite fashion to that of the original wave, you will come across destructive interference. So the sound wave fizzles out because spaces in the air that were the sound don't exist anymore and so you end up with a blissful silence. And you might have guessed it, noise cancelling headphones use this destructive interference to kill unwanted sounds. They do so by using a microphone that actually listens to the ambient sound and then calculates a sound wave and sends a second wave out to the speakers which cancels out the noise. So there are a few things that you should definitely consider before buying a good pair of noise cancelling headphones. First. They are only good at cancelling out uniform ambient sounds. This means that they are good at drowning out an airplane's engine or the ambient sound of your street or fans or your really loud laptop. But if you're stuck at home with a kid who keeps screaming, this isn't going to help you out much. Next, they're going to suck up a lot of battery even if you're not using them in wireless mode. You see, unlike regular wireless headphones like this, which can be played even when they are completely drained out of batteries with cables like this, and if you put them up, connect them to a phone or whatever, they are still going to play some sound. But that's not the case with active noise cancelling headphones. That's because they have their own specialized circuitry which works on some batteries. And if you connect them to a PC or a phone with a cable, it's going to require that battery nevertheless. So you would be ending up with no sound whatsoever if you're completely drained out of batteries with these guys. And the worst bit, headset manufacturers don't even tell you about this. Next, be ready to experience something called the eardrum suck. Initially, I thought I was the only one who was facing this, but then it turns out that there were a lot of people facing this and there are even articles on the internet talking just about this. It's basically this feeling that is very similar to standing in a high-speed elevator. It's something like sucking your eardrums out of your ears. It's excruciating for a lot of people, even causing nausea, while some people don't even notice it and then some people like me just adapt to it eventually. It happens not because there is a change of pressure, but because your brain cannot process all of that sudden cancelling of noise. That's why it's called psychosomatic. Since ANC headphones use mics, they can also have an ambient mode or a hue-through mode that lets you hear your surroundings. And since they are so good at drowning out uniform ambient sounds, they can also be used in settings where you want to hear the speaker, but there is a lot of background noise, like at conferences or even a speech. 
and it works like magic seriously now if you watch this video for so long you must also be looking for some noise cancelling headphones on the market if you're willing to shell out some money our top picks are the Sony WH-1000XM4 and Bose noise cancelling headphones 700. If you prefer truly wireless earphones, you can look at Apple AirPods Pro. If you want more recommendations, you can definitely check out our guides page or also go to the audio reviews section as well. And that brings us to the end of this episode of Elemental. If you learned something new, do not forget to like this video and share it with your friends. And also new Elemental videos come out every Sunday at 1 p.m. So do not forget to subscribe to our channel. And for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.